the triple C. I'ma make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. So UFC 295 now officially has a cold main event. Yuri Prohachka versus Alex Pereira. Guys, UFC 295 just became that much more fun. I mean, imagine that. You have John Jones versus Stipe, and now you have Yuri versus Pereira. I think it's awesome, but it's a great matchup, especially right now that the fact that the, the bout is vacant. And so the simple fact that the bout is vacant makes it exciting because there's so many storylines actually coming out of it. You see, who is it that's going to come out up, up top? Remember, the storyline of this whole situation is Yuri Prohaska beat Glover Teixeira. You guys remember that? Yuri Prohaska beat Glover Teixeira. Is this a revenge for Alex Pera, for his teammate, for his mentor that he really wants to take out? I mean, these are the questions that we all have. These are the questions that, that, that the media and and the storyline that we're gonna that's gonna take place because it's special it's special to be able to have get a fight with somebody who has beat your mentor who has beat somebody who you've admired who has beat somebody who you've actually given a a, a motorcycle to even i just saw the video too where uh you know Pereira brought the lamborghini and i think glover thought it was his and he's like no this is mine you know glover almost started crying he's like Are, you know <laughs> I mean, it's to that extent that the fact that they're just so super tight and they're super close. I mean, there's... Will Yuri Prohaska do it again? Will Yuri Prohaska be able to get that... Get that... Double up on this victory? You know, the, those, those, those are the biggest questions. And for... And for somebody like Alex Pereira, would he make it another champion he's gonna go ahead and take out? You know, stylistically, I think of this match, and obviously I'm super, you know, I've trained Yuri. Yuri's come out here for a few weeks to to train with me. Yuri Prohachka is, he, he's, he's a different style of fighting that he, there's a belief in him that makes him, that makes him dangerous. You know, um, the fact that he, he, he's a fighter that literally goes off a of rhythm. He's a rhythm fighter. He's a guy that's gonna go out there and, uh, and use all the rhythm that he has in order for him to start getting his his striking and his wrestling to eventually look for these MMA finishes. Again, when I was speaking to Yuri here, it was almost like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna go all MMA with Glover. And I was thinking more of the fact, like, no, let's kick his legs, let's defend his wrestling. It's like, no, I'm just gonna fight him in every position. And I think looking at Yuri in that perspective, that's what makes Yuri dangerous. That's what makes Yuri Prohaska extremely dangerous. But then again, you have a guy like Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira, his, you know, he just got a victory over a former champion, Jan Blahovic. It was a close fight. Um, but he ended up, he still ended up winning. Um, and will he double up on this? Stylistically, will Yuri allow a guy like Alex Pereira chew up that front leg? Will he allow somebody to really chew up that front leg? That's the biggest question. Because if Alex Pereira can't chew up that that front leg or catch that hook, I think it's an I think it's a I think it's a good matchup for a guy like Yuri because Yuri will go for takedowns. Yuri will will strike. Will use unorthodox movement, and it's gonna be it, it could get pre pretty problematic for a guy like Pereira. But if a guy like Pereira stays disciplined and he chops that lead leg of a guy like Yuri, brings in that lead hook, presses him and he's able to hurt him because Yuri does get hit a lot. You know, this, 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 if, if Alex Pereira does win, he wins by, uh, he wins by knockout. I think if Yuri Prohaska does win, he, he has more options. I think the options of maybe even submitting, submitting, uh, submitting him just like he submitted Glover to share. What you got for me, Matthew? So obviously this has got Alex Pereira Yuri Prohaska is the co-main event to Stipe and John Jones. Could you see a world where either one of those guys goes up and fights for a heavyweight belt eventually? Ooh, that's a great question. Will the winner of this light heavyweight title go up eventually to heavyweight to fight a guy like Jones? <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, the way Dana White has, has structured everything for Alex Pereira, I, I guess he could. 
But would you want to do that against a, a guy like John Jones? I wouldn't. You know, I mean, you can try, but it just won't go good. Um, there is that possibility, though. There, there, there is those storylines of if if Alex Pereira does win. But I, I just feel like he needs to defend his belt more than anything. I think either one needs to be, defend their belt before they decide to go to heavyweight. But I think the heavyweight division, the weight is real. I wouldn't do it uh, in their position. I mean, unless unless Alex maybe wins and maybe he defends. And maybe he goes out to try to become the, the first three division champ. But other than that, I just don't see any of these guys touching the GOAT, the great John Jones. So again, guys, this video is brought to you by the one and only Jimmy Bar, the gluten-free bar that is out on every Walmart store nationwide. So you guys make sure to get your damn Jimmy on. I'm out!